back at the cafe again. It's a good job we got ahead of all the odds so we can go through the mare bag and read all the less about the sheep. Alex, there is no sheep. Well, Scott, I think there is. And I think it's just waiting for the right moment to turn off. Ah, uh, come on, Leslie. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, you know what, Scott? I have my doubts about this piece of rock we got yesterday. The way cafe written in it. I think it's a warning, you know. Well, what about? I don't know. I've got this feeling. Like the old days when Ben was around. Nah. Nah, come on. Oh, yeah, it was boss, wasn't it? Big hell, wasn't it, isn't it? Oh, it's only because you've been out. Oh, yeah. But I could just do some more of that sandwich. Oh, What's that, Hey! Do you two feel anything different? What way? I don't know. Something weird. Well, everything looks the same. Yeah, but it doesn't feel the same. Oh, Leslie, I wish you'd explain yourself a bit more. So you do know what you mean. Yeah, well, I don't know what I mean either. Well, neither do we. Look, Leslie, this is our place. It's our cafe. Now, there's nowhere safer to be than in here. Oh, I have me doubts. I bet you wish you'd stayed in Blackpool with the other four, don't you? Oh, come on, Scott. I have one of me feelings, though, Scott. Hey, Les, what do you mean when you say it's like the old days? When Ben was around with the vat and the hoover. Here, take the hoover, for instance. Get rid of it. Leslie Preston, get rid of the hoover. I thought you loved it. No, I don't mean get rid of it, get rid of it. I just mean get it out of the way. Put it upstairs or something. Oh, all right. The less things to do with Benjamin Rory Slade, the better. Hey, Alice. Yeah, what's the toy? Oh, Trish, we're having a good time there. But well, we've got things to do. What things to do? I've got loads of things to do. So stay and don't move. Don't move. Put on the minefield. Hey, I think Trish has gone to do something green. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Trish. Good morning, Trish. Hi. I didn't know that it was people's jobs to actually clean our beaches. Oh, yes, in Blackpool, we have quite a large workforce coming to clean the beaches each day during the season, up to 20 men. Oh, and what do the, mach the machines do exactly? How do they work? Well, we have two machines. One is a mechanical shovel with a piece mm. of apparatus attached to the front of it for combing the sand. And we have another machine, which is a specialist machine for cleaning the sands. Mm. Now, the machines seem to do most of the work, so why are the men as well? Well, the machines uncover rubbish that's buried in the sands, and once that's happened, the men come along and collect the rubbish off the sands. Can you recycle any of the rubbish? Unfortunately, we can't. The rubbish is contaminated by sand, and that doesn't lend itself for recycling. Mm. Now, I've heard people say that Blackpool is a dirty beach. Why would they say that? Well, people get confused between the beach and the bathing waters and Blackpool beaches are clean. So, can we help? You certainly can. Great, I'll go and get the gang. Scott, I love pizzas, you know. Yeah. They're nice. Mm. Let's put on the hassle to make. Well, if you make the base yard, like, that takes ages. Yeah. Well, you can buy the bases oh, ready-made. Yeah, right. Just top them, bung them in the oven. Mm. 
Right, there's the tomato puree on. Right. And now I've got to add some chopped tomatoes. Oh, loads of chopped yeah. tomatoes. Love tomato. Mm. Right, put all that on, give it a bit of a spread round. And then I put some cheese on. Pass the cheese. cheese. Get a couple of handfuls of oh. cheese. Put loads of that on. That'll do. Now, most pizzas have a cheese and tomato topping, don't oh, they? Yeah, yeah. And then they put on the rest of the topping, like sweet corn and mushroom. Oh, I love mushrooms. Loads of Goes on like that. Oh, and yeah. a bit of tomato, as the onion. <laughs> <laughs> right, but like, I have to do your toppings like peanut butter on mine. Peanut butter on a pizza? Yeah, but they're nice. I like pepperoni and ham and pineapple most. Well, tell you what, we'll have something weird on ours. We'll have some banana. Banana? Yeah. <laughs> right, put that on. And people have olives too. Oh, have you ever tried anchovies? What are they? They're like little small fish and they taste dead salty. Ugh. <laughs> now this pizza's got to go into the oven. Right. And the oven's been on for quite a while, so it's quite oh. hot. It's on 425 Fahrenheit, or gas mark 7. Oh, so it will be hot then, will Yeah, so I'll go and put this in there. It's cold. This was hot a minute ago. Yeah, I'll let you know. Scott. How can an oven lose its heat so quickly? What's going on? Oh, Scott. It's hard work putting all these donkeys together, isn't it? I know. Christine, how many donkeys do you look after? I've got seven at the moment, and you're right, it is hard work. In other words, some people say it's really cruel making these donkeys work all the time. Is that true? No, that's not true. The donkeys don't work very hard. We do have a donkey charter that's very strict about the hours that the donkeys work and the weight that the donkeys can carry. How many years do they work for? Uh, around about 15, depending on the donkey and how fit it is and everything. And where, where did they go after they finished the work? Go to the donkey sanctuary in Devon. It's a nice place and have a few different farms and uh, try to keep the Blackpool donkeys all together on the one farm. They've got their own vet and their own surgery and I think it's about time we did some work. Leslie, you just wish that you'd stayed with the others in Blackpool, don't you? Alex, I have this feeling, and when I have a feeling, I'm never wrong. Now, come on. Oh, it's like the old days. Hey, Scott, Leslie seen things in her own shadow, you know. Oh, hey, Scott, has anything happened? Has the lights dimmed or anything? No, Scott was just telling me about some dead, dead interest and Leslie was going to show me, weren't you, Scott? I was like, he was, come on. Scott, I haven't got a clue what letters. We know the way she's going on saying that Ben's mad. She's twice as mad if you ask me. Yeah, well, come on, let's have a look at those mailbags. Hey, Alex, you think there is something going on? Oh, not you as well, Scott. Sorry. The Ben book. Philip said he made sense of this. Can't understand a word of it. Hey, hold on. Oh, look, Scott, someone's missing Ben. Sounds a bit like us. Right. It's from Eleanor Baker, and she says that she's a real, real big fan of Ben. And since he's gone, she said that it's got boring her because he was cute and witty. Oh, he was oh, funny, yeah. wasn't he? Anyway, Alex, this will cheer you up. It's from Lisa Stanley, and she says, when you finish with your toy sheep, you could send them to me. Toy sheep? Who would want to invent a toy sheep? I don't know. What's going on? Oh, spooky. Oh, anyway, talking about spooky things, Angie King thinks that the men from Minns are brilliant. Do you? No way, Jose. But you can't be that bad, because she does say that she's seen the sheep. Alex, how many times do I have to tell you? There is no sheep. Well, I think there is. I just think that it's waiting for the right moment. Well, it's got someone helped me out at the right moment the other day. The Milky Bar kid. <laughs> Somebody needs 
needs my help. Kids, I can't thank you enough. You saved my life. That's okay. It's all in the day's work. And just call me Anthony. So how did you become the Milky Bar Kid? Well, my mum saw a piece in a magazine uh, that they were looking for a new Milky Bar Kid and we went along for the experience of an audition. What did you have to do in the audition? First I had to tell a joke, oh. then I had to tell a poem, then I had to go for a screen test. I assume that you went to a drama school beforehand. No, I didn't go to a drama school. I don't go to a drama school. Um, we do a play every year, and the last play was Top of Soil, which I took the leading role as Tom. Isn't that an American? Yeah, that's an American. Oh, can you show us a little bit? Now look for us. Don't you ask for it unless you're sure you want some. Oh, that's brilliant, that. Now with you being the monkey bar kid, you must be dead busy. No, not really. Um, we, it only takes two days for the adverts and all the public appearances are on the weekend. So you've got time to fit in hobbies and that? Yeah, I do. Calligraphy, cooking, and I play the piano. Are you good at playing the piano? Mm. Quite good. Well, with you being the Milky Bar Kid and you're a hero, who are your heroes? Oh, I like uh, Nicholas Lindhurst, David Jason, and Russ Abbott. Who are yours? Well, Anthony, there's only one hero for me. Cheers. This is awful. Philip Foster never told us any of this. It's really serious. It just ends in all these numbers. Zero triple two eight nine three seven six zero oh, five. Wonder what that means. What's going on? Hello? It's me, Trish. Oh, hiya. What are you up to? We're going on the donkeys now. I've just made the others clean up the beach. Oh, I bet they enjoyed that. <laughs> Colin's got off a of Blackpool beach in his trolley now. Listen, are you coming back soon? Yeah? Why? Is there something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Just... What? Odd. Odd? What's odd? I don't know. Just this place. I don't know. Hello? Trish? Hello? Leslie? Hello? Hello? Oh, Trish? Leslie, what was that? Must be something wrong with the phone. Listen, I've got to catch the others up. I'll see you soon. Tra! Pork chops, still like that one. I'm not in the mood for jokes. Something's going on. Yeah, girls. Here's your cooks. Oh, Tom Scott. Oh, 
Will we love him coffee? Will we talk because the cow's not working? Mm. There you are. You saw that. It's not just my imagination. Do you know what, Les? I'm starting to agree with you. Yeah, me too. No. Look, we're just trying to scare ourselves here. Right? There is absolutely nothing wrong. No, it must have been you because it wasn't me. Stop it, I'm kissing you and I'm You know what it means. Let's face it. It turned itself on. Leslie, that is impossible. Machines can't just switch themselves on. Some machines can. I mean, any machine to do with Benjamin Rory's slave. Leslie, will you stop going on about Ben? He's gone. Yeah, but his inventions haven't. Look, the only thing of Ben's here is the, the Hoover which is upstairs. And there's this flipping computer, which is safely packed away in a box over here. It's empty. Look at that. It's going right through to the cellar. What? It's a meltdown. Hey, I think we should have a look down there. This could be serious. There's only one way down to the cellar. Through the trap door. Half a Blackpool beach in the sorry. Aren't you taking us conservation a bit too far? No, look at the beach now. It's lovely and clean, isn't it? Yeah, true, true. Where's the other two? Fella, Daz, come here. Oh, those donkeys are brilliant. Right, we're going home now. Oh, oh so I know, but I spoke to Leslie on the phone and she seems worried about something. And you have got this feeling inside there's something wrong, so we've got to go home. Come on. Trish is tapping. Scott? Leslie? Hey, is everything okay down there? Yeah, everything's fine. It's a bit dark though, isn't it, Scott? Yeah. Scott, you're not talking about now. We're not by itself. Scott, it's too dark in here. Yeah? What's going on? Oh. Oh. Alex, you're going to make me off, Amy. Amy? Hey. Leslie, why are you saying shh? Because it seems like the right thing to say at the time, Alex. Uh. It smells like no one's been down here for years and years. So, this is the cellar. What's that over there? Oh, it must be a boiler or something, Scott. Oh, oh I have me doubts, you know. I have me doubts. Hey, Les, haven't you been through this sort of thing with the old gang? I mean, doesn't any of this ring a bell? A bell? Brilliant. Oh, come on. Hope someone answers. Yeah. Hello? Carter speaking. Is that you? Of course it's me. If it wasn't me, it would be somebody else. It's you, Ben? Correct. Goodbye. Oh, no, wait, Ben. Don't put the phone down. It's me. What do you mean, me? And to whom am I speaking? Ben, it's me, Leslie. I've never heard of you in my life. Leslie, Leslie Preston, ponytail, blonde hair. Oh, remember? Faintly. Listen, Ben, it's about the computer. You know, the one with the Ben bite. I remember that. It's gone, forgotten, lying there in the Ben zone. No, it isn't. What? Amateurs, all of them. Scott, Leslie's on the phone. Who's she from then at a time like this? If you ask me, there's only one person in the whole wide world she could be fearing on right now. Who's that? Benjamin. Rory. Slave. Listen, Ben. 
and I'll be back in a minute. What's happening? Where did this come from? Alex, what have you been doing? I only said Benjamin Lordy Slade. It's all getting very far-fetched again. It's all gone horribly wrong. And I'm the only one who can save them. What do you do? I am the future of why don't you? What do you mean? I am in control. Why don't you fat pack? Send the one pound check or postal order made payable to the BBC to this address and we'll send you a fat pack full of recipes, games and cartoons. Invention. You mean during all that time when Ben was 
of the Cardiff gang and the Liverpool gang and all the silly things he did. He was keeping you hidden from us. Hidden no more. And I brought you out the bend, sir. I set you free. It's all my fault. Hold on, look, we're being in Blackpool Beach having a good laugh. And these have been here doing the recipes. No, everything like that working their dad. So let's go in and cheer them up. Cheer them up, how do we do that? Um, let's sing for them. Sing, sing for them. them. Yeah. I should be so lucky, 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 lucky. lucky. Oh, come on, you sing. I should be so lucky. Come on, get him. What's up? It's locked. Right, this is going on for long enough. What do you want us to do? Well... You have already said that, but what do you expect us to do? One mate. One cook. One lettuce. Leslie! Scott! Oh, come on, let me in now. Oh, Leslie! What's that? Spill? Spill any others? Forget them! We can't do that. Yes, we're all mates. We're a gang. No more gang. Work. Excuse me, what would you do if we said no? Listen to this. Listen to what? Well, is this some sort of game? Shh, just listen. Right, let's go to it. Come on. Better do what it says. Mailbag, kitchen. I'll stay here. Then look. Whoa! Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard something. What do you think it is? I don't know. It was like, it was like a sort of rumble. Oh, maybe it was the sewers. No, because we're right on top of the coffee cellar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like a sort of rumbling sound, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was. It was like a voice. Oh, I think something seriously wrong. <laughs> Where's the cellar gone? Where's it gone? Where's the gang gone? <laughs> madam, madam, where's the cellar gone? Has it disappeared? Where's it gone? <laughs> Phil, when you mean something's wrong, what do you mean? I don't know, it's like, it's like something's wrong. It's just like the old days. But what could be wrong? Just a harmless or a cafe. Well, look, I don't know how and I don't know why, but I think it's got something to do with that Benjamin Rory Slade. <laughs> Recipes. Right, biscuits. 21 squares of lemon juice. 21 squares. One, two, three. Oh, give up with that. Right, now leave it standing. Okay. Ben Buck. I know what'll help us out to this. The oldest, why don't you make in the book? Benjamin Rory 
Oh, Phil, what are we going to do? I don't know what to do. We need an expert. You mean an expert who can help us in ridiculous situations? I can't help us. Dad can't do it. So we can help us? It's like that. Don't sit in there. Let's not sit in there. We should be in danger of that. No, but I'm just stuck to me. I'm here. I'm back. And I'm exhausted. said that I've got to put all these letters into alphabetical order. Do you know, I used to love doing the mailbag, but this makes it dead boring. Most of the letters are under S anyway for sheep. I must get to work. Yeah, Ben, you start. Yeah. Everything he needs in there. Phil, is that the real Ben? That's the real Ben. And is he going to help us? Well... Anyway, we must help ourselves. Right, let's sum up the situation. Right. Something's wrong inside the calf. That's bad. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad. bad, bad. bad. Ben's right. That's even badder. Badder. Oh, badder. badder. Anyway, things can't get any worse, can they? Yeah, I Wait. So. I've got a great plan. Things have just got worse. <laughs> An electric lemon. <sighs> What's this? Another letter. Dear Noisy Mob, if you're in trouble... Trouble? Remember this. The solution doesn't exist. Love the ultimate creation. Solution doesn't exist. I can't get it. Scott, you must. I can't. Every time I try to go up them stairs, that machine shouts at me. Scott, we need that hoover. Because you see, if you press the boost button on it, it'll suck open the doors and we can get out. I can't get it. All right, calm down. Listen, I have to think of something else. Right, see, ready? This is the great plan, right? Oh, right, we can't wait for that lot of Ben to do anything. Oh, right, oh, right. Oh, so, Colin, inside the window by the mailbag yeah. area. Phil, inside the window by the kitchen. Okay. And Trish, me and you outside the window upstairs. Oh, oh right, that's, that's brilliant. They're attacking on three sides. Oh, that's a brilliant yeah. plan, that does. It's great. It might actually work. Right, oh. come on, then. Hi! One piece of wire, two pieces of wire, three pieces of wire, three. What an odd number. Benjamino Filippo. Come on, seriously now, what's going on in there? It's all gone horribly wrong. You should never have turned on that machine. Never. 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 Never, never, never. <laughs> but what are you going to do about it, Ben? For every machine, there is an equal and opposite machine. And that's what I'm building here. Right, with a skateboard and an air dryer. Exactly. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, Ben, you don't change. You're still the same old Ben playing about with bits of junk. Excuse him. What? Who got themselves into this mess and then phoned me up in Cardiff and asked me to come up and save the day? Well, all right, Ben. If anyone can save us, you can save us. Put with a skateboard and an air dryer. Exactly. It's going to be Smickles. Smickles, what an odd word. Anyway, look, I've got a window to climb through, so good luck. Who is that boy, anyway? There's much work to be done in so little time. Go on then, Swish. Me first? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cover your back. Oh, I'll let you, Dad. You can do better than me. Go on. Oh, OK. Go on, you one dog. Oh, Dad, I don't think we should be doing this. 
We don't know what we're going to find. Call the bus rescue. Shut up, Come on, you. be quiet, will you? Look. Where's your trolley? It's outside. Ben's got it. Ben? Yeah, Ben, the real living Ben. What are you doing with your trolley? Oh, well, you know me trolley. Everything he needs is in there, and it never runs out. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> denied me. Now I have control. Everything goes as planned. Wait a little. Shh, be quiet. And I'll have to have to be afraid. He's the Hoover. Oh, yeah. Scott! Scott! Outside, Ben. 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 Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. What do you mean brilliant? You see, he's the one with all the ideas. Yeah, I know that, but you don't, do you? Phil, I've changed my mind about that. We've got some thinking to do for ourselves, Phil. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Alex, the window won't open. Colin, it must open because that's the way you got in. Oh, well, it doesn't open now. Do you know what, Colin? I think this must be a trap. Oh, there must be something we can do. There must be an answer. Well, according to this, the solution doesn't exist. What do you mean? It says right here, the solution doesn't exist. Well, who's it from, then? Wait for this. It says it's from the ultimate creation. Now all the children are here. They will bring him to me. Put this bit with that, and these bits together, and now I shall put everything into my vat, and it'll churn everything up, and... No, it won't. That was last year. I want to bigger and better things now. Now, if I put the circuitry motion with that, and... And, and I did that. Scott, here's the plan one last time. Now, I'll go downstairs with this recipe to distract the machine. Phil, you'll set the timer for one minute. After one minute, Daz and Trish will pass the hoover down to you. Now, Scott, you'll press the boost button on the hoover to open the doors. Phil, you'll go into the mail back room and get Colin and Alex. Daz and Trish, you'll run downstairs. I'll run upstairs and we'll all run out, OK? Yeah? OK. Bye, Phil. Set the timer for one minute. Good luck, Les. Generator on outside, and it'll save the day inside. But one last ingredient is needed a dash of exploding milk. What a headlong dash into the past. <coughs> How maneuverable. And then you put it in a green tin and bung it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. And if you didn't get that, I'll say it again. You put some biscuits into a pan, you mix them all up. Then you put in 21 squares of lemon juice. Why, 
five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Why come on? Give me that ring. It's broke. So, did we get it wrong? Horribly wrong. Hey, the old doors are shut again. Can't turn that hoover back on. It's broken and it's not a hoover. What? Come to me. That's a machine. I guess that. Hey, Ben, what about your skateboard gizmo thing? That'll get us out of here, won't it? Oh, I dropped that outside. I think it's locked outside. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, Ben, it's all my fault. I was the one who brought that sack out the Ben zone. It's not at all my fault I switched the Ben by Don. Yeah, but it shouldn't have gone back in the Ben zone in the first place. I know, yeah, but I should have listened to you. You were right. Excuse me, am I in your way at all here? Yeah? Come here. I think I can get dead mad if you don't do what I say. You get out upstairs. Yeah, we've got a ladder. Well, yeah, hold come on, on. Hold on, look. It shuts all the windows, hasn't it? Oh, we knew we were doing this. It's been planning this all along. Ah, so have I. Come here now. Ah, so, it's the final conflict. Well, Ben, I'm coming with you. Me too. Okay, come on then. Oh, what are we going to do? Come on, there's nothing we can do. It's all up to it. No Hoover, no Gizmo, no nothing. We haven't got a chance. Uh, right. Hold it here. I think I can handle it. Whew. It's big, isn't it? So, it's the return of the machine. Now, I am in control. Yes, you are. So what do you want? Joy. No, thank you. I'd rather stay with my friend. Well, I 
rubbish. Right. Who are those people anyway? What do you mean, gone? You know what Ben's like? Doesn't matter now, Phil. It's all over. Come on. Oh. Hey, guys, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. Hey, hey. Hi, guys. Hi. The 8.15 from Manchester is the brand new Saturday morning programme which starts tomorrow morning on BBC One. Find out what it's all about in about three minutes. Meanwhile, Andy Peters shared a bowl of ready break with Jason Donovan, who then put Andy in the privileged position of a quick look through the Donovan family album. <laughs>